Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is your social study teacher Muhammad Mashood Khan. I hope that you all are fine, happy and fresh. Today we are going to start chapter number 4 that is measuring the weather. But before studying about measuring the weather, let's see what is weather. The day-to-day -day conditions of the atmosphere at a place with respect to elements like humidity, temperature, wind speed, rainfall, etc. is called the weather of that place. Weather can be cloudy, sunny, rainy, stormy or clear. It is a part of the natural phenomenon which maintains the equilibrium in the atmosphere. So studying about this, we, g we know that now we know that the weather is basically the combination of humidity, temperature, wind speed, rainfall, all these things combine and they form a weather. Now there are certain elements of weather. What are, the, what are these elements? Elements of the weather are wind speed, humidity, temperature, rainfall, thunder, snow and lightning. These are all the things which we can see outside our surrounding when weather is hot when there is a wind blowing so all these things we experience by ourselves now we will study about instruments used to measure the components of weather there are certain instruments which are used to measure the components of weather what are these components and what are the instruments let's see the temperature of a place is measured using thermometer the highest and lowest temperature of a place is measured with maximum minimum thermometer so the hot the degree of hotness is measured by the thermometer the next is the rain gauge rain gauge is used to measure the rainfall the rain gauge is also known as omrio meter it is expressed by using the units millimeter or centimeters so basically rain gauge as the name tells it by itself that rain gauge is basically the instrument which is used to measure the amount of rainfall in a region. The next is the anemometer. Anemometer is used to measure the speed and direction of the wind. It's quite simple. The next is the humidity of a place is defined as the quantity of moisture in the air and it is measured by using hygrometer so hygrometer is the name of the instrument which is used to measure the humidity now you can see in the picture there are few instruments which are used to measure the elements of weather now these are thermometer anemometer hygrometer rain gauge wind vane and snow gauge you can see them in the figure now we will study a bit in detail about rain gauge. A rain gauge measures the amount of rain that has fallen. This is a metal or plastic container at the, at the top of which is a funnel. Inside the container is a glass cylinder marked in millimeters. Rain falls on the funnel and collects in the cylinder with where it is measured. So as you can see in the picture that there are two plastic tubes or glass tubes one is the outer one and one is the inner one the inner one is covered with a funnel when rain falls it goes the rain water the raindrops enters the funnel and through funnel it enters the tube now when it enters the inside tube there is marked reading on that tube so when the level of water rises in the tube from outside they can write down they can note down the reading of the rainfall so this is how the rain gauge is worked working the next is the wind vane wind vane is the simplest weather measuring device that points the direction of wind it is a metal arrow with a tail it is mounted on a pole or a roof so that it will turn around it is one of the simplest machines it is one of the simplest devices and it is used to measure or check the direction of the wind it's quite simple it is just that it has an arrow with a tail when wind blows the arrow is in the direction of the wind so arrow will indicate the direction of the wind 
okay now it it is barometer it is used to measure the pressure or weight of the air it plays very important role in forecasting the weather now there are two types of barometer the one is the aneroide barometer and the second one is mercury barometer so there are two types of barometer and what barometer is barometer is basically a device which is used to measure the pressure or the weight of the air now let's see the types of the barometer the first one is the aneroide barometer it looks a bit like a clock it shows weight of the air on the dial it can be carried out easily so it's portable machine it's small little machine it can be carried out anywhere and the reading of the pressure or the weight of the air will be shown on the screen by a needle the next one is the mercury barometer it is a glass tube a meter long which is closed at one end it is filled with mercury and the open end is placed in a bowl of mercury this acts as a kind of scale the mercury barometer is fragile and cannot be moved easily you can witness this in the figure that how the working of mercury barometer is you can see the mercury tube is dipped in a bowl which is filled with mercury so when the pressure of air increases it pushes the mercury to get inside the tube so in a result the level of the mercury rises inside the tube so as the level rises they can check out the level and they can write down the reading so from there they can measure the pressure of the air or the weight of the air so this is all it i hope that you have learned this all and if there will be any question you will definitely ask me stay safe stay happy stay blessed have a nice time